hello guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video i'm going to be discussing a push for back pay in the amount of a 17.8 raise to social security including retirement disability ssdi a survivor and ssi plus va benefits i have all the details for you in this video and before we start i don't want to make any promises whatsoever I want to make this very clear because if we look at the real numbers, if we look at the real situations that have been playing over the last couple of years, as I said, low income, fixed income earners, it's been a very tough time. And if you look at the year report and study who is being impacted the most and hit, uh, the hardest because of inflation that's the law and uh, the fixed income annual and it's seen all the time with all studies that the law and fixed income earners are hit the hardest because incomes are not moving incomes are staying the same and inflation is just going up and higher and destroying monthly benefits so let me point out what's going on. How much do you think your monthly benefits checks have gone up for the last three years because of the caller? And it's way more than we're anticipating. And it's at 17.8%. As you see, over the past three years, uh, your monthly benefits have in increased by 17.8%. And that's a lot. You can run the math yourself and if you add up all the cola just in the last three years, uh, cola has raised up up to 17.8% and uh, if we go just in 2024, it raised by 3.2% and the last year for last year which is 2023 it raised by 8.7% and if you go to the previous year which is 2022 there it increased by 5.9% uh, and if you add all that up you get 17.8% and it sounds like a lot but if you are uh, to calculate it this is really interesting because even though benefits have increased by 17.8 percent uh, it sounds like a lot and a healthy raise however let's not be tricked here how much have prices of daily goods gone up over the years you might think it's around 17.8 percent but no it's not even close as it's way up depending on the report you look at and also the sector or the economy you look at. Food is over 21% and in general all inflation is up by 25% and that's where much compared uh, to the relief funds people are really receiving. If you look at every price of uh, or if you look at the price of uh, energy it's up by 38.4% over the same period of time which is way up and that shows that we are falling behind uh, maybe about 21% or 4% depending on the sector you are looking at. So there are calls out there and pushes to double the caller raise from last few years. And if we are to be real, what's the likelihood of this actually happening? I may say maybe in desperate times and maybe if lawmakers get really generous for some reasons i don't know the likelihood of something like this happening the whole point is beneficiaries should actually be getting more benefits right now based on what has been going on for the last few years and the 17.8 percent that has been the increase over the last three years would be better if it's doubled to maybe 35 or 36 percent around there and there maybe we can compare with how much uh, have energy prices gone up and this would be good for beneficiaries and this might even 
uh, be the raise for 2025 which is fine and good for low and fixed income earners and i say maybe the back pay of 17.8 percent also includes the new raise for 2025 and then the spread between the raise and inflation gets a little bit narrow and that would be best for low and fixed income earners as you know uh, the current situation is living check after check and paying bills so that would at least smooth things out over the coming years and on that the likelihood of this all working is slim but we'll keep on watching for any new outcomes thanks for watching guys see you on the next one